Good day grade 8ST students. I hope this video lesson find you in a safe and healthy condition amidst this pandemic. Again, I'm Mr. Marion Rodrigo D. Marinas III, your teacher facilitator for this asynchronous online class in biotechnology. As we start our lesson, let us have a moment of silence to say your personal prayer. Before you continue learning our topic, please be reminded of the following. Choose a study space conducive for online class. Number two, set a time for you to finish all the prescribed activities given by your teacher. Number three, take down notes while watching the video if necessary. Number four, listen carefully to the instruction given by your teacher. Number five, your submitted output will serve as your attendance, so make sure to submit you all your outputs on time. In addition to that, you must have the hard copy of the teacher-made activity sheet provided by your teacher a week before the uploading of this video lesson. Browse the activity sheet for missing pages and read the instructions carefully. Reach out to your teacher for some clarifications. And lastly, reach out to your teacher with questions relevant to the topic of this video lesson. So are you now ready? Let us see if you still recall our last topic about the difference between tools and materials, processes, and products. In this activity entitled Classify Me, you are asked if the photograph is an example of a tool and material, a process, or a product. You are given only 15 seconds for each set of pictures. Let us start with the first set. Classify Basi, Sugar Cane, and Fermentation into Tools and Materials, Process, or Product. I am giving you 15 seconds to answer. Your timer starts now. Time's up. The answer is Basi is a product, sugar cane is a tool or a material, and fermentation is a process. Let us now move on to the next set. I'm giving you another 15 seconds to classify green fluorescent protein or GFP, gene insertion and glowfish into tools and materials, process and products. Your timer starts now. Time's up. The answer is, GFP is a tool or a material, while gene insertion is a process and glowfish is a product. And off to the last set, classify curdling, kesong puti and carabao's milk into tools or material, process or a product. I'm giving you another 15 seconds for your answer. Your timer starts now. Time's up. The answer is, curdling is a process, while kesong puti is a product, and carabao's milk is a tool or a material. Before we proceed to our next activity, let us process again the topic about tools and material, processes, and products. The processes used in biotechnology aims to create useful products with the help of living systems or organisms. Processes are series or set of actions that are taken to produce a product. These processes can only be executed using devices that perform a specific functions called tools. For our activity number 2 entitled What Are We? You are asked to analyze photographs below and identify the common thing about the three items. You are given until next day to write down your answer on the activity sheet provided to you. Before proceeding to the next part of our video lesson, make sure that you are through with answering the first part of this activity sheet. If yes, you may now continue playing the video lesson, but if not, you can still have your time to finish it. Now, as part of our usual routine in our class, let us have vocabulary building activity. In this activity called List Me Down, you are asked to list three words that are synonymous or connected to the word traditional and modern. You may write your answer on the space provided in the activity sheet. 
Before proceeding to the next part of our video lesson, make sure that you are through with answering this part of this activity sheet. If yes, you may now continue playing the video lesson. But if not, you can still have your time to finish it. Now that we are through with our first set of activities, I assume that you are now ready to dig deeper about the different fields in biotechnology. With that, we will start with the difference between old and new biotechnology. As I have mentioned earlier, the history of biotechnology can easily be divided into old and new biotechnology. So what is the difference between old and new biotechnology? That is what we are going to discover with the succeeding part of our video lesson. Old biotechnology can be traced way back millennia during the start of the earliest human civilizations. So for our first guide question, can you still remember some of the world's earliest civilizations? Please give at least three of them and then write your answer on the space provided in the activity sheet. Old biotechnology involves various processes that are based on the natural ability of organisms or biological agents in performing out reactions that ultimately lead to the formation of required products. The picture on this slide shows fruits with natural yeast on their skin. This yeast was used by early humans to ferment and preserve their harvest. One example of old biotechnology is fermentation. Fermentation is a metabolic process in which a microorganism's activity creates a desirable change in food and beverage. Some of the common examples of fermented products are cheeses, vinegars, and alcoholic beverages such as this lambanog. The process of fermentation occurs in the absence of oxygen, or what we call anaerobic cellular respiration, and in the presence of beneficial microorganisms such as yeast, molds, and bacteria. The photomicrograph shows Saccharomyces cerevisiae or the brewer's yeast that we commonly use to ferment food items. These beneficial microbes break down sugars and starches into alcohols and acids such as acetic and lactic acids and allows the food to be stored for a longer period of time without spoiling. As you can see on this diagram, different microbes are able to produce specific types of fermented products such as aspergillus for soy sauce and lactobacillus for cheese production to name a few. Studies on the process of fermentation led Louis Pasteur to develop a process that can remove the sour taste in beer and wine as a result of conversion of alcohol into acetic acid by gradually heating and rapidly cooling the liquids. These experiments conducted by Pasteur in 1864 led to the discovery of pasteurization, which is a process of mildly heating food products such as juices and dairy products to kill disease-causing bacteria. Pasteurization has become a gold safety standard for almost all food products that hit our grocery shelves. Now that we are done with fermentation, let me ask you, can you give me at least three examples of locally produced fermented products in our country? Then write your answer on the space provided in our activity sheet. Let us now continue. There is a point in the human history that our ancestors' mode of living shifted from nomadic lifestyle of hunting and gathering to a more sedentary form of life. And when we say nomadic lifestyle, it means that they do not have permanent housing and they move from one place to another based on food availability. This shift paved the way for agriculture that eventually led to the creation of methods that will help them in sustaining their needs. With these changes, they began to domesticate wild animals and propagate plants. Domestication refers to the process of adapting wild plants and animals for human use. As you can see in the picture in this slide, the red jungle fowl were domesticated by early Southeast Asians for thousands of years until we developed the chicken that we commonly encounter in our grocery. Domestication also involves the process of breeding. It refers to the manipulation of a species' attributes, structures, and composition to make them more useful to humans. The most ancient and basic procedure in breeding is called selection. The traits that the breeders had selected improve a species' suitability for food. As you can see in this picture, we breed chickens for the number of eggs they lay, meat, and even the length of maturation before they are ready for selling. The process of domestication and breeding were further intensified during the mid-19th century, when a priest named Gregor Johann Mendel performed an experiment using garden peas. His experiment revolutionized the study of heredity, and when we say heredity, it is the passing of physical characteristics from the parents to its offspring. From his experiment, Mendel observed that some of the pea plants have traits that resemble their parents, while some plants have different traits from those of their parents. 
Mendel experimented with thousands of pea plants to understand the process of heredity. Today, Mendel's discoveries form the foundation of genetics, the scientific study of heredity. And with that, Mendel is now known as the father of genetics. Now that we are through with old biotechnology, let us now discuss new or modern biotechnology. When we say new biotechnology, it involves the manipulation of a genome together with the organism's natural ability to make more products to meet demands of the modern world. In this biotechnology, there is a deliberate and laboratory-driven alteration, manipulation, or modification of genes of a certain organism. And when we say genome, it is the complete set of genetic information in an organism. It provides all the information that the organism requires to function. This new biotechnology led to the development of DNA technology. It refers to the modern laboratory techniques for studying and manipulating genetic materials. Using these techniques, scientists can modify specific genes and move them between organisms. The field of DNA technology grew out of discoveries made about 60 years ago by Joshua Lederberg and Edward Tatum in which they combined genes from two different individual E. coli bacteria. In the 1970s, the field of biotechnology exploded with the invention of recombinant DNA or RDNA. It is formed when nucleotide sequences from two different sources are combined. In this development, our scientists are able to insert genes of interest into bacteria plasmid that we can use as cloning vectors. Today, recombinant DNA technology is widely used in the field of genetic engineering, the direct manipulation of genes for practical purposes, such as the creation of genetically modified organisms and mass production of useful chemical, pharmaceutical, and medical products. Gene cloning can be used to produce a variety of desirable products. Copies of gene itself can be the immediate products or the protein products of the clone gene is harvested and used. Do not worry because we will have an in-depth discussion on how the recombinant DNA technology is able to produce this multitude of products. Now, before we proceed to the next part of our lesson, can you give me at least three products of new biotechnology? You may write your answer on the space provided in your activity sheet. Now that you are familiar with the difference between old and new biotechnology, I think you are now ready to learn more about the fields of biotechnology in the context of the different color schemes. The fields in biotechnology can be classified under a color scheme. Each color corresponds to the specific fields where this particular biotechnology is applied. In this discussion, we are going to see the different activities for red, green, white, blue, and yellow biotechnology. Let us start with red biotechnology. Red biotechnology consists of activities, processes, and products that is aimed to improve health, medical, and diagnostics. On the other hand, green biotechnology focuses on agricultural and environmental biotechnology. This field encompasses how we improve our crops and livestock as well as how we use biotechnology to perform remediation practices in our environment. In white biotechnology, applications, products, and processes involved in industrial processes and bioprocess technology are developed and improved. Aquaculture, mariculture, and coastal and marine biotechnology are the main focuses of blue biotechnology. And lastly, yellow biotechnology focuses on food biotechnology and nutrition science and how can we improve the food that we eat every day. To help you master the skill of classifying different activities and processes into the different color schemes of biotechnology, let us have this activity entitled True Colors. You are asked to identify the color scheme of each of the processes and activities presented in this slide. You are given only 5 seconds to think of for the answer. You may write your answer on the space provided in your activity sheet. Let us start with seaweed culture. Your 5 seconds starts now. The answer for this one is blue biotechnology. For our second item, we have vitamin A and rich golden rice. Your 5 seconds starts now. Time's up. The answer for this one is yellow biotechnology. And for our third item, we have pest resistant BT corn. Your timer starts now. The answer for this one is green biotechnology. 
For our fourth item, we have Lambanog, an alcoholic beverage produced from the sap of the coconut flower stalk. Your 5 seconds starts now. Time's up. The answer is white biotechnology. And for our last item, we have RT-PCR detection kit developed by UP Manila for the COVID-19 detection. Your 5 seconds starts now. The answer for this one is red biotechnology. In connection to that last item, I prepared an activity entitled Filipino Pride. In this activity, you are asked to do a research about the invention of the Filipino physician scientist named Dr. Raul Destura of the University of the Philippines Manila National Institute of Health. Afterwards, you must write a five-sentence paragraph about the impact of a locally produced PCR kit for our battle against COVID-19. For your convenience, a link for a Google Drive where you will upload your work will be shared after this session. Before you have your short quiz, let us have a quick game to review some of the concepts presented in this lesson. You may access this game-based activity at joinmyquiz.com with the game code 30485502 or through this link given below. Again, the game code is 30485502. But wait, before you take your quiz, make sure that you are through with all the activities presented in this activity sheet. If yes, you may now start answering your short quiz, but if not, you can still have your time to finish it. And to assess your level of mastery for our topic today, you must take the short quiz using this link below. And this ends our lesson about the fields of biotechnology. Before we end the session, please be reminded to finish all the activities from the activity sheet. Once done, make sure to let your parents sign your output before submitting it next week. Again, this is your teacher facilitator in biotechnology, Mr. Marion Rodrigo D. Marinos III, reminding you to stay safe and healthy and see you soon.